Their gifts unite them. We realized that we all had these abilities and we started getting into the paranormal. But faced with the world's most haunted sites. You can feel the darkness of what happened in the past. Oh my God, what is that? Can they help spirits find peace? They died doing what they thought was right. Yeah. And bring history back to life. I think we're actually communicating with somebody from the witch trials. History's Most Haunted. Only on TNE. The success of our documentary, Haunted Gold Rush, <clears throat> um, the network offered us um, a series. And so when um, History's Most Haunted was presented, it was a no-brainer as a ne next step in our journey. Well, we are sisters and best friends. I am Leanne's sister and we've known Kelly for a very long time and I was born with some kind of gift and I've known the paranormal my whole life. So since I was three years old, I've not known any different, but I've kept this quiet until recently, until the last five years or so. And uh, the show History's Most Haunted is just us doing our thing and being our authentic selves and going out and helping people and spirits who may still be lingering in some of these haunted locations. Um, I'm Leanne and yeah, I've been interested and fascinated with all of this stuff from a very young age. So to me, this is definitely a dream come true to be able to do this. Um, the success of Haunted Gold Rush that we've talked about before, um, that has kind of propelled us into this new series, History's Most Haunted, and it's just next level. It's like all the most haunted historical locations across North America. So you'll get to see six new episodes, one hour episodes, um, everywhere from Texas to Montreal to New Orleans. Like, yeah, we just go to some of the most iconic places. Yeah. So I'm the friend. Um, I didn't grow up with any of this stuff or talk about any of this stuff. I mean, I didn't think any of this existed until I met Leanne in high school, played volleyball with her, connected, and she started talking about weird things that I thought were weird at that time and completely opened my mind. I spent time at their home. I uh, watched them play Spot the Spirit in their shared bedroom, which paranormal game that kids play apparently secretly. <laughs> but um, yeah, so started with that. They took me into local, um, what was it? City halls. And it's, we've come a long way together. I mean, I realized that I have abilities too, that now, you know, memories have come back from when I was young, when I saw things that no one else saw and I viewed the world in a way no one else viewed in my home. And so now I've sort of leaned into it with these ladies and, uh, we've traveled all across North America, getting to lean into our gifts and, and being our true selves. the success of our documentary Haunted Gold Rush, <clears throat> um, the network offered us um, a series. And so when History's Most Haunted was presented, it was a no-brainer as a ne next step in our journey. And we were super excited to take that opportunity and see where we could go and what we could find and who we could help in this journey. So it was kind of a natural progression after our documentary. It's all filmed already. We filmed it um, starting winter of 2022 and into 2023. And uh, yeah, we it's done. Yeah, so basically um, every location is very different, but we follow witness stories to these locations and we go in and try to either validate their experience, have our own experience, but we're doing paranormal investigations in multiple locations in each city, essentially, we're visiting um, and uncovering new truths and untold history. Like we're actually adding to the history books. Like this has not been done ever. It is gonna be 
um, a format that people might be shocked to see. Yeah, we're looking at history through a paranormal lens, um, you know, and we're, like Leanne said, we're trying to uncover new new truths that maybe people don't know about. And so we're looking at history through the paranormal is, I think, new and I think it's exciting. And I think it, um, it, it leaves clues that we can put together to solve maybe a mystery that spirits still want to share even in the afterlife. Yeah. So when we go into a location, we hear from real people who've had these real experiences and sometimes they're terrifying. Right. And, you know, you hear, you hear what's happened and, you know, you go to the Alamo or you go to like these big historic places. So you have this kind of notion, but you got to put that aside as an investigator because, you know, you want to go in and, you know, keep an open mind, but have your own experiences. Right. So everyone experiences things so differently. And so when we walk into a location, you know, we're aware of what we've been told, but we want to tap in with our own abilities and see if some of those experiences correlate with our equipment. And then we see if those clues that are given to us connect to the bigger historical puzzle piece. So I think it's a really cool way of trying to um, find out what's really going on in some of these locations. Yeah, um, for me, Newfoundland, going to Belle Island was, it was surprising and shocking in that there was a history there that should be known, I think, by everyone in our country that isn't. I mean, maybe people on the East Coast and in the Maritimes know more about the history there of, you know, the Nazis striking in the West. We three did not know any of that. And Karine's a history teacher. And for her not to know that, that's pretty telling. So to go to these places and learn the history and experience it ourselves, sort of walking among these layers of history that linger there still, that's uh, that was a, a big one, a big one. There's places like Salem. We investigated the Salem witch trials. And as three women with abilities doing that, it was probably one of the most powerful experiences you can imagine. Um, so that episode to me is just like unbelievable. Like so much happens in Salem. Yeah. We're still processing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> yeah. And I think, you know, you'll see places we went to San Antonio, the Alamo. Um, we were in new Orleans, we were in Charleston, South Carolina, Montreal. So yeah, we've been all over and these places we've gotten into are just incredible. being visited weeks in advance to a location like it's such a range of things and it's so cool to validate our experiences with the gear in the moment real time and to piece it together things that maybe don't make sense early on for it to click like Crane Crane cried because it finally made sense to her something in South Carolina I don't know if you want to explain but it's like everything coming together yeah, I was that little kid again, you know, that didn't tell anybody what I had as an ability. And I was like, is this real? Am I, should I be saying this? Like, it's not making sense. Like, this is great. Like, we're here and I don't know why this, why am I getting this? It's not connected to anything. And then when it does, it's just this like, wow moment for the whole team. Cause it was like, this is like, this is legit. This is real. And, you know, so to me, it was really validating personally. And some of the evidence we caught, you know, there's so much evidence that, you get personally like your own experiences that it's hard to kind of articulate how you felt in those moments sometimes and then you get the paranormal research tools and the equipment that gets things as well and then you hear like witness testimony of what happened to them and so when you get all that it's like like i said it's like putting all that together to kind of figure out what's going on there and i think that evidence you're just gonna have to watch but it's it's pretty compelling we're talking to historians and archivists and like people that know their history and yeah, there's some pretty aha moments there. Yeah. <laughs> so having these experiences um, my whole life and I'll, all three of us have had abilities. Um, I was told from a very young age that it wasn't real. So I kept it very quiet and it still happened and I was still spooked for a lot of my life. 
Um, and so when I got older, I'm like, you know, these tools, like if this is, if they're designed to, you know, map in an SLS stick figure to show a spirit or, you know, they'll, the energy of a space, if it, if it goes to that person I'm seeing is energy, they should be able to manipulate that, you know, REM pod or whatever the case might be. I started buying those tools. And so for me, originally, it was to validate myself and my experiences to show, you know, my family and friends that like, this is real. Like, I'm not just, you know, I'm seeing somebody standing over there. So you map it in, there's a stick figure, like that's kind of, kind of validates what I'm experiencing. So that's how it kind of started. And then, you know, as we've progressed with our company beyond the haunting, and we've gone into more investigations, we always, our number one tool is ourselves our bodies always, you know, we pick up the energy, we feel the space out, we get the vibe, we kind of see where we're drawn. Um, and the gear is almost secondary because we pull that in to kind of help validate what we're experiencing too and see if it does correlate and, you know, match what the witnesses are saying. We try and squeeze in the touristy things <laughs> as we're walking from location to location. <laughs> Take it in. But it's it's honestly been so amazing. Um, we're really lucky that we get to work with local crews. I mm. mean, our DOP director producers, they travel with us. But mm. to work with the local crew and to have them come out and experience these things. I mean, oftentimes, well, not oftentimes, many times people who come out on the crew, they haven't had experiences yeah. or they might be a little skeptical and then they have experiences with us. And it's like, that is one of the most enjoyable things for me mm -hmm. is when somebody in the crew behind the scenes that you don't get to see is experiencing something or comes out of a location is like, oh my gosh, I heard a voice in that closet and it said this and you're like, ah, say something next time oh, like yeah. come on <laughs> so it's, it's just so cool and to go and see different places different spaces meet different people who talk different and sound different like it's like it's just I just love it <laughs> yeah it's definitely uh, a sense of adventure and I feel like we're all just in our element now and it's just the beginning like you kind of get that sense like you just want to keep going because we have such a blast with our production team with like with each other like it's just like you just want to keep that vibe and energy going and I think for the first time in my life um I'm being my true self like I've, I've told everybody my abilities I'm going out there the three of us are traveling we're doing this you know small army productions has been instrumental in helping us get here and so between them teeny and blue ant you know we're able to go out and develop our own skill set and see these amazing places and meet these amazing people. So yeah, it's been an absolute amazing experience. Their gifts unite them. We realized that we all had these abilities when we started getting into the paranormal. But faced with the world's most haunted sites. You can feel the darkness of what happened in the past. Oh my God, what is that? Can they help spirits find peace? They died doing what they thought was right. Yeah and bring history back to life. I think we're actually communicating with somebody from the witch trials. History's Most Haunted, only on TNE.